Hi guys, it's Amanda from Amanda Rose Tarot and I wanted to come on and do this kind of behind the scenes type thing for you guys. So this is actually going to turn into a pick a card reading that I'm actually working on right now. Um, by the time all of this is posted and everything, um, it will be included. So just wanted to do something different for you guys and uh, I know I haven't been coming on a lot but I've had other stuff going on in my life that's kind of taking priority um, I know that sounds bad but um, you know I've been doing this for a long time and um, it just seems that it's kind of petering off as far as who's watching I know a lot of you are dedicated to me and my channel and I really appreciate you guys, and I'm sorry that I haven't been around as much, but um, I enjoy doing this, I really do. It just, um, I've been doing it for a long time, and it just, like, the results of it just seem not that great. So, enough of the negative talk. Um, I wanted to show you guys what I'm doing. So, I'm working on a reading. Um, and I'm gonna be premiering that probably later on today or tomorrow. Um, I'm using a number of different decks. Uh, I'm using this deck. This is uh, my Sweet Romance deck. This is actually by Joey Aloha. So um, if you haven't checked him out, he's on YouTube as well. He does pick up cards and uh, these cards, I, I don't, I wouldn't mess around with these cards. Sometimes they can be very blunt but I respect other readers out there that are not afraid to get into that taboo area of what's going on, you know, confronting it, getting it right out on the table. So um, that's what I've been working on. And this reading is gonna be, what should you do now? So it's gonna be um, advice on your situation, um, most likely your romantic situation and some advice on what to do in that situation. Um, I'm also using, let's see, as you can tell, my cards are everywhere. <laughs> I'm also using the Tattoo Tarot, another deck that I like to use. Um, I don't use it all the time, but it's a very interesting deck will say that. Some of the cards, the artwork is a little bit, I don't know. Um, I would like more on the cards, if you can understand that. So, but I do like that deck. Um, I'm also using my go-to deck, my guilty deck, and I'm going to be using my Gypsy Witch Lenormand deck, which is another go-to um, that I use a lot. So I wanted to kind of show you my space. I haven't cleaned it up, so I don't know why I felt the urge to do that today, but um, so this, this is my space. This is my bedroom. Um, so I've got this mural up on the wall. I have another one um, up on the wall here. And I've got my little desk here in the corner. It's actually a very, very tiny room, but um, it's cozy. So this is where I do my reading. I'm not gonna show you my table because I've got the cards spread out that I'm gonna be doing for this up and coming reading, but I just felt like giving you kind of a behind the scenes type vibe. And um, I wanna pull a card too, actually. So let's pull, let's do some fun stuff. Let's do, let's do a romance angel card. Since I get you on here, let's, let's just pull a card and see uh, what maybe something that you need to work on as far as relationships or maybe something that um, is coming up for you. So it could be prediction. But we'll see what we get. So, uh, 
eyes can see. Well, you can see my desk, kind of, this one. This one doesn't have any um, cards from my reading on it, so I don't mind showing you that, but I have stacked up here some books, some different books that I like to use. We've got, this one is well used, as you can tell. This one is How to Read the Tarot. It's uh, the Keyword System by Sylvia Abraham. It's an old book. I bought it vintage. Okay, sorry, my phone is not cooperating. Um, but I was showing you some of the books. I have this book as well. Um, I've had this book for, I don't know, like 20 years. This book, I mean, some of the pages are actually falling out. I can show you. It's like... Well, I don't want to show you, but the page is falling out. But this is a wonderful go-to book. It's the Illustrated Book of Tarot, Discover the Mysteries. And this came with um, my Marcel deck. But I've got a bunch of cards over here and different decks over here. Just, uh, it's nice to just have them right next to me but like I said I usually have this organized so I don't know why I felt the urge to come on and show you guys um, my cards when they're all messed up so let's get one of these romance angel cards I digress um, but I wanted to do this for you so let's see what type of energy or advice or predictions we can get from the romance angel oracle pick one out in the middle okay we've got let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others so you find yourself in a relationship um, maybe you're not able to communicate um, your feelings maybe you're not able to um, reveal all of your feelings maybe you're feeling like you have to hold back you have to resist or maybe you're just not even sure um, how the other person is feeling. Maybe you're just kind of confused as to what do they want? Do they want the same things as you? Um, or maybe it's at the stage where it's just a crush and you're not really sure how to progress things. You're not really sure how to talk about things. So really, it's, it's telling you that um, maybe a third party can come in and help to kind of be the moderator between you guys to really figure out um, how can we fix this? How can we make this work? How can we progress this? So it's always good to ask for support. Make sure they're trusted friends, people that you know want the best for you, people that you know love you and support you. And those are the people that you want to reach out to to help you to give you advice on what to do um, if you're feeling, you know, kind of stuck in your love life. So that's what I'm getting there. Um, I also want to do one of these Loving Channeled Messages for you. My little personal Loving Channeled Messages deck. So just a little message for you today. Oh, we've got two. Okay. Okay, we've got, you are so handy to have around. You are the strongest, sexiest man slash woman I've ever met. So someone sees you as very strong, very sexy. They think you're handy to have around. You can do so many things. You have so many talents and skills. We've got, babe, wow, you really rock my world. I love spending time with you. So. There are people out there, you know, they could be these trusted friends, they could be a lover, and they they really love spending time with you. They, You rock their world. You really, um, you shake their foundation and they really think you're sexy, you're strong. And so if there have been any kind of communication failures, um, definitely get a third party to come in and try to help with that or to give you advice um, as to what to do next. So that's what I have for you guys and I hope you like this little behind the scenes 
um, that I did, let me know because maybe I will continue to do this in the future. But as always, sending you guys love, light, and blessings. Mwah.